Uh, and let's do it. What's up everybody, Anthony Saratelli here of Jersey Filmmaker and today I wanna to show you a product that I acquired back in April at NAB Las Vegas. The good fellas from Lytra handed me a couple of these sweet LEDs and said I could give them a test run. I'm gonna unbox these for you. I say unbox because I've actually used these before but I'm gonna unbox them for you to give you the full effect along with some of the other products that they gave me as well that I actually haven't opened yet. I think these lights are geared a little bit more towards action sports which I don't do much of but I have found them very useful in filmmaking as well so Let's break these things open. All right, so now that everything's out of the packages, let's take a look through it. We have the actual lights, which are pretty sweet looking and very durable. We'll get to that later. Inside the box, you have adapters that can latch onto things like GoPros and things like that. We have a clip so you can clip it onto things and you can snap this right on the back side here. We have a hot shoe mount, which is always helpful to put on top of your camera. We have a diffusion dome to soften the light. You have a charging cable, which is nice and short and makes it easy to travel with. A couple stickers so you can post up the Lytra logo wherever you'd like. Obviously the same thing in the second light package. This piece will be able to mount both lights to each side, and then you can also throw a GoPro right in the middle of it. Here's another cold shoe. Did I say hot shoe earlier? Cold shoe mount, the hot shoe would be on the camera, but this one giving you more versatility to angle the light whichever way you'd like. Forgot about the handle that would go on the bottom of this so you can hold your GoPro and lights in one hand. And then another one of the very cool things are these adapters that you can throw onto the front of the lights. So you can throw some filters on there and it looks like they give you everything from diffusion, green, blue, yellow, and a bunch of warm, warm oranges to choose from. Very cool. Let's talk about the light itself real quick. There's actually only three settings. There's a low, a medium, a high, and a strobe. The low setting is 100 lumens, the medium setting is 450 lumens, and the high setting is 800 lumens, while the strobe, I believe, is 1200 lumens. It's balanced at 5700 Kelvin, which is really nice because it's got a nice daylight balance, and it's not too blue, which a lot of daylight balance lights sometimes get towards the 6000. I've even had one that's close to 7000. Not claimed as daylight, but that's way too blue, so this really gives off a nice daylight color temperature. Like I mentioned, it's good for action sports, like surfing, for example, so it's waterproof up to 10 meters or 30 feet. It's extremely extremely well built, it's solid. It's actually 810G military spec certified, I guess. I didn't know exactly what there was, so I had to look it up. They do drop tests, temperature tests, all kinds of condition testing that the military would do. This has passed that test. Lytra claims no hot spots on their light. Like for example, right in the middle, a lot of lights will have a hot spot where the light is focused, but I believe that they don't from my testing, and if you see, they have a square setup of LEDs, so it's not blasting more so in the middle. LEDs tend to be better with this than, let's say, Fresnels or things like that, but no hot spots on this light. It has an 80 degree beam angle, which is really nice and wide. It's flicker free, so you shouldn't see any flicker in your video, no matter what frame rate you're shooting at. It has a rechargeable battery that lasts up to four hours and only takes about an hour to recharge. And it has multiple mounting points, so you can use a wide variety of accessories, like we have here, so let's put something together. Oops. Oh yeah. So this thing feels really, really sturdy if this is something you're into with using a GoPro. Like I said, action sports, I think it's catered to, but again, I've used it in filmmaking. I've used it to light rooms with just these lights. I actually did it in another test I did with the Eva 1 and the FS5 which didn't come out so great, but not because of the lights, so you can check that out up above. I've used them in some car situations. They're really handy outdoors when you're on the move. They're well bright enough, and again, with some diffusion, or even if you just back up and use them at a distance, they work really well. Let's see what this looks like if I hit the lights. I'm at about arm's length or two feet in distance. I have no idea how this will look, but I guess we'll see when we check it out on the computer. Oof. I've now stripped it down to full power, 800 lumens, two lights, again, an arm's length away, no diffusion. This is 
crazy bright. Let me throw some diffusion on so we can see how that looks. So with diffusion, definitely feels better on my eyes. I can actually open them and look into the camera before I couldn't do that. These things are so bright. Again, two feet, arm's length. Hopefully it looks good. Hopefully those tests show a little bit about how much these lights give off. They are really strong for their size and I find them very valuable to have in the bag, especially because they're so small. They're so easy to fit in your bag. I plan to use these and I've even had these just in my bag and ended up pulling them out when I wasn't even expecting to because they are so handy and you never know what kind of situation you'll be in and these lights can handle pretty much any situation, which is great. I really have enjoyed using these lights over the last few months and it's not just because they gave it to me, it's, it's really nice that they handed me a couple of these to test out, but they're just like I said, awesome to have in your bag. I really enjoy carrying them around. They've become very useful to me and I'm also very excited about another product that they have coming out. It'll be their second product, I believe, as far as light and it's the Lytra Pro. What excites me about the Lytra Pro is that it's about twice the size, if not a little bit more. Again, the same military grade, very strong, durable, waterproof up to 90 feet. But the most exciting part about that light to me is that it's bicolor and the CRI is 95. I didn't mention the CRI on these ones. It's actually quoted at greater than 70. I really like that they put it up there because there's other companies out there that don't mention their CRI when they might be lower than 95. You always just see 95 plus for the most part. They're not scared to put out there that the CRI on these are only around 70. Again, very useful for GoPro style stuff. I mean, if you're mixing it with a bunch of other lights on a Hollywood set, yeah, that's gonna matter. But otherwise, that CRI doesn't really matter. They're very, very useful, but the new one, which will have bicolor, which would be better for filmmaking and be able to mix it with other lights, CRI 95, very exciting. The bicolor goes from 3000 Kelvin to 6000 Kelvin and it's adjustable in 100 Kelvin increments. The Lytra Pro is Bluetooth compatible. I don't think the Lytra Torch is, but this makes me feel like they're gonna create an app that you can probably connect a bunch of Lytras to, you stash them around the room, pick your color temperature, levels, boom, 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 all from your phone, mix it up, I'd be excited to give that a try. But back to the Lytra Torch, again, a really cool piece of gear. I think very valuable to have in your bag at all times. I will keep them with me wherever I go at this point. Super easy to work with and not very expensive. Something I definitely recommend. And again, not just because they gave me a couple. I am very appreciative of that, but it really is a good piece of gear. I've had it in my bag since they've given it to me. So that says something to me. And that's all I got for today. I hope this information was useful for you. If you like this episode, help me out and click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click that little bell so you get alerts to all future episodes. If you have any comments or questions, you can of course leave them right below or contact me on any of my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at Jersey Filmmaker. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, remember to get out there, don't wait, go create, and I'll see you next time.